Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, Kimi just released another new CLI tool and its name is Kimi CLI and here you see that this is the interface. Welcome to Kimi CLI. I have just installed it and I have done the setup and there are lots of comments available inside this Kimi CLI which is really helpful. So let's see that how to do the setup and I have given this link in description. Go there. You will find this GitHub repository link and scroll down below and this is the first step you have to run this command uv tool install kimi cli and hyphen hyphen python 3.13 now to run this command you need uv so if you don't have the uv in your machine then just go to this link i have given this uv link also in description and you will find this page and here you see installation mac os and linux and windows so if you're on windows then run this one if you're on linux and mac this one you have to run so just copy this and open and open your terminal and here you see that uh, i have just pasted it and press enter and after that you have to run this one okay this is the first one here you see to add this uh this Kimi CLI to your path, you have to run this one or either you have to restart your cell. So just run this command, then you will be on the safe side. Here you see, I have just run this, and after that, run this command. Uh, this is the command uv tool install and uh, python 3.13 and Kimi CLI. Okay, here you see, and press enter. Now it will install the dependencies that is required. And after that, run this command kimi hyphen hyphen help. And uh, if you get this kind of responses, that means kimi got installed in your machine. Okay. And after that, uh, check the current directory where you are currently working pwd. I am currently working in this uh, folder. And after that, just go to that your project folder. Okay. Go to that, your project folder. And after that, run this kimi and press enter. Now you will get this kind of interface. Now another thing I just want to tell you that if you are on Windows, then you may face some problems because here you see that Kimi CLI currently only supports Mac and Linux. Windows support is coming soon. But remember one thing that you can run Linux inside this uh, Windows using this Ubuntu. Okay. So if you go to your Microsoft store inside this Windows, and they are just uh, search this Ubuntu here and after that you will get this Ubuntu here you see that I have installed this one and after that um, you have to just do the setup uh, for your username and password now after that you will be able to use this Linux inside your Windows and if you face any problem to do the setup of this um, Linux inside your Windows please comment me below in the comment section I will make a separate video with a clean step-by-step -step process that how to use this Ubuntu inside your Windows okay now let's see that how this Kimi CLI actually works okay now let's go to inside your project here you see that this is my project and uh, this is the HTML CSS and JS files are there and what I will do just run this Kimi and press enter and you will see this welcome to Kimi CLI now we will do the setup so just press in uh, backslash okay and after that here you see that a lot of comments are showing now go to this setup using this down arrow key and now select this press enter here you see Kimi for coding Moonshoot AI Moonshoot AI open platform now you will choose this Moonshoot AI open platform and press enter here you see that enter your api key how to get this api key just go to this page the link is given in description platform.moonshoot.ai just do the sign up and after that you will find this kind of create api key click on this you will find this pop-up give a name here and select this project as default click on this ok and after that copy that api key and paste it here i already have the api key let me paste it here and press enter here you see that select the model kimi k2 turbo kimi k2 0905 kimi k2 0711 so the latest kimi k2 model is 0905 so we can select this one otherwise you can go for the kimi k2 turbo okay now select this one here you see kimi cli got uh, now the setup is done now if i press uh, slash and here you see that compact command is there so compact is basically helpful 
when you want to uh, compress the context after a lot of chat is done if you want to compact the context to reduce the cost and to increase the cache heat then you can use this compact and this is very helpful and also this debug the context by using this slash debug slash exit and after that uh, slash init it will initialize the code base and it will automatically create the agent.md file which is very helpful and uh, slash reload to reload the configuration and and these are this one so these are the comments now uh, available and also they are working constantly to increase the some of the extra features for that we have to wait and otherwise the features that are currently available you can use that also because Kimi uh, model was good we know and uh, it has the quite good performance uh, like the frontier models like Claude and Gemini so this is the tutorial and guys now you will be very angry on me because I don't have the subscription for this Kimi K2 because I already have the subscription for Claude so that's why I don't want to uh, get another subscription for the Kimi K2 and that's why when I send this message hi to this Kimi K2 model then it is showing that LLM provider error but the installation process and the setup process is same that I have already shown you so please follow that and do the setup and if you have the Kimi K2 subscription then please test it and let me know your experience your thought in the comment section below I am really sorry for that that I don't have the subscription for Kimi K2 okay please forgive me so this is the things that I wanted to share with you guys all the links are given in description and if you are new to this channel if you found this video helpful please make sure to subscribe and like this video and subscribe this channel see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye take care